He's left. He's finally left. He just logged on. I've been up way, way early because I was like, I'm going to get a jump start on today's episode and get working on things. And the guy who was online was the one person I needed to be offline. Good old Jack, because today we are transforming that beanstalk one more time. But first and foremost here, I have a very important question for you all. Let me know in the comments, do we keep plant flip or cool flip? And outside of what we've been doing on in the last episode and everything like that, I did do a stream and came over here and built up a new structure where we moved all of our leatherworking villagers over. So those people are all living down here in the town, which is absolutely awesome. It's very cool. I love these new structures, the new designs and everything like that going on with them. It's been so very fun to be able to work on all these things. And I don't know if Jack's coming back online or not. Right now it's just me and usually he jumps on and off for a little bit here. So I think I might pick a few other things so we don't have to worry about him, you know, finding out who it is that's building the beanstalk. So far at this point in time, Jack has no idea that we are actually the person building up the beanstalk. So comments, you gotta help me out here. You gotta help me out. Keep this secret, okay? Keep the secret. So we're back in my base right now over at the spider farm because I need a lot of string because we're going to leave a box over at Joel's place because I know he desperately needs string to combat the evil snow. And thankfully I wanted to give him nine stacks, which is exactly what I had in here. But I had AFK to get a little bit more and found out, unfortunately, that my uh, my minecart despawned up here. So we'll have to fix that here soon. But for now, let's jump over to Joel's base and, you know, put this down where you might buy it. Just getting over to Joel's base now, and I absolutely love that this is where his waystone is when he has built all of this stuff. He's built so many different things, and his waystone is right there. <laughs> Greetings from Jeremyville. That is an amazing sign. I gotta get a giant billboard around my place. We need a giant Mount Fwip billboard of sorts, but he has an amazing amazing build over here it's absolutely awesome i've purposely been avoiding viewing it because i know there's just so many things going on and i haven't wanted to spoil anything like that but i he's got this absolutely insane mega base up here and i'm thinking we just leave this nice little chest on the front door and on my way over here i was thinking about it and i just kind of want to leave a message of goodwill you know we, we're, we're not hurting for diamonds we don't need more diamonds we can just give the string and you know help them out oh hey the official waystone for the mega build it's not even centered new base it's not not even centered come on come on joel just just right here all it has to do is go right there back over at my base now and outside of working on the beanstalk for jack today i would love to get over to building up a few more shops in spawn and kind of expanding our caravan shopping area which i think is absolutely amazing but as you all know i really really like my dirt blocks in this game as i love terraforming and check this out if you find a tall grass right here using one of these scythes from Patty's More stuff, you can just right click and it just makes dirt. It just makes dirt. It's just infinite dirt, everybody. I don't think I could ever be more happy about a broken mechanic in a game. It's not an overpowered item at all, but for me, it's the best one in the entire game. Look at that. It's even coming out of my mouth. That's that's weird. Over at spot now, and I just noticed that poor Jack here completely lost the third block of gold as these pillars go down they kind of like have the three blocks of gold that is all the way up here as uh ollie and he's uh he's completely lost the second the first one poor guy coming out of spawn over here we have this lovely little shop right here which i absolutely am in love with it's so great let's see if it's made us any more sales last time i checked in here i did get a few more sales Ooh, somebody brought a wooden mob farm that's nice that's the first one of those to sell and no more iron mob farms i've sold that's fine they're a little expensive let's go to knock these down to 20. and what i would like to do now is expand our little shopping area over here i think i want to make a second wagon over on this side where we can have something in maybe a bit of a longer one that comes out all the way over to here and then we can have a small i kind of want to expand this into another third room on top of it so that i can add in a place to sell our plant hats and that should be pretty awesome and then i want to add in a few more trees so we'll do like a big custom tree right over in this point which i think will be able to connect some fairy lights from the tree to like the sides of the buildings or something like that to the carts to make much more of a fantastical environment something a little like what they have over here but more on the fantasy side some some oranges and all that cool stuff 
And what I would like to be selling inside of this one is those paintings that we were talking about. I thought it'd be really cool to set up an area in here where we can sell our own custom paintings as like pixel art that they can use around their homes and everything like that. We spent a little bit of time building this one up and I will show you all the end result and oh my God, what is? I don't think that's friendly. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, yep, it doesn't like me. No, it's just chilling. Three arrows to kill that one thing. Oh my gosh, what do they even drop? Ar Arachron Crystal. I hope that wasn't part of the Three Heart Clubhouse. If it was, I'll get them a new one. Looks like if you get five of those, you can make one of these hammers that just breaks in a three by three radius. It's the same thing that we have on our diamond or another star hammer, which I think is gonna be better. Now that we've got an idea in mind of what it's gonna look like down here, I've gathered up a few blocks to make this thing happen. So folks, let's go ahead and kick this off into good old fashioned time-lapse mode and get our new shop set up. I came back in and did a little bit more work here after finishing up the time lapse, but the tree is looking pretty great. We've got our second card over here. I added in some fairy lights and this place is looking a little behind the times now with that little sign right there. I think we got to design a new one because over here we've got Fwip's home decor. All prices are one diamond per, cust per painting custom. I got to fix that. And then in here, I've got a, some of them on display. Stock is all inside the crates around the cart and not finding what you're looking for. I might be able to help out, reach out to me. And so inside of here, we've got all the different stocks and everything like that. Few options that we have for sale. These two on this side are still open for, you know, if we add some more, then we got this one on display around here. I kind of want to just make it feel like a traveling merchant or somebody might be at like a street fair or something has just set up their stand right here and has things everywhere on display trying to sell them to whoever is walking by. So I think this place is going to be really cool to watch it evolve as we grow and add more things into the shop. But that is super sweet, my friends. And now what I'm actually going to be doing is we're going to be jumping over to meeting up with Jimmy and Joel to talk about a little bit of stuff involving the build shop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guys, we got paid. We got Ooh. paid. Today's the day. Today nice. is the day. Diamonds. Come down, come down, come down. Okay. All How right. many diamonds? So, check the chest. Check it. Ooh, Ooh, 100 total. Not bad, not bad. So if we, we're looking at, looking at, looking at here? 33 a piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I and guess one extra. What, what's Jim's cut? What's, what's Jim's yeah, cut? Yeah, no, yeah, you get more than me. You get more okay, than me. Okay, should we do, oh, I'm trying to work out 40, how 40, we can 20? do this. Yeah, that probably makes 40, sense. 40, 40, 20. Right? Yeah, 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 we yeah. can do that. We can do that. Well done on organizing it. Um, how there is, we go. Um, I, I We've got... seem to see some graffiti on the outside of our place here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's this about, Jim? Three stars. Builders were great. However, the receptionist needs training. Forgot all basic parts of his job. Not happy. And that's in caps. So, yeah. So, put mm. down the lectern. This is this is uh, CPK here. And I forgot to put the price in, in the lectern. Oh, no. But... You know what? He kicked up such a fuss. You know, you just have those tricky customers sometimes. Yeah, I know. I feel like he was one of them because he didn't just say, don't worry about it. It's okay. Now we know what the K stands for in CPK. He yeah. Did... <laughs> he, did, he did see how beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> CP he Karen. He did see how beautiful it was. It was a beautiful mm -hmm. enclosure and he still yeah. kicked up a fuss. But I, I, did, I did put the price in there as well. But then he kept. You know, he kept rocking and rolling with it, but you know what they say: the customer's not always right. Let's get rid you know, of this. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. that was vandalism right there. Yeah, he didn't even put a. You know, he could have just put a book on my desk and wrote a message Anything. in there. He no. didn't. He vandalized. Uh, um, we haven't got any orders yet. Um, okay. In the letter, nothing, nothing but... new. That's okay. No, nothing new. But I can, I can, you know, whack on my suit and I can do a door-to-door -door salesman. Try get mm -hmm. some builds in for us. I could do that. Sounds good. Cool. I think next time we definitely need to work out the price before we build, uh, rather than just build and be like, this is how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> this is how long it took yeah. us. You pay us this. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll work out I the I think an estimate price would be the best way yeah. to go yeah, before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then hopefully I don't get any more complaints either yeah. directly at me, not you guys, and I can stay <laughs> in. By the way, could I, 
Is there any chance I get the glasses yet? Or have I been up? Um, Where's the coffee maker, Jim? Oh. Yeah, exactly. All right. When I get the coffee maker, glasses, yeah? yeah I mean, yeah, you glasses. already got AirPods. The reason AirPods. we have these glasses yeah. to, is to hide our tiredness because we've had no coffee. Yeah. True. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Okay, fair. All right. Okay. Well, I'll work on getting that coffee maker and getting some more orders for us. Yeah, hopefully. we need you to go out and sell, like, advertise for us, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, you Get yeah. a pay rise if we, you bring it. I know we've talked a little bit about, like, you know, this uh, spawn area right now. Is oh, These pathways yeah. are a little rough. So if we need to do some more, you know, just community outreach to get our name out there a little bit more, we could come through here yeah. and design up some roadways and okay. make them look all nice, too. So. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good, Definitely. then. Sounds good. All right, I'll get my suit on, and I'll start... I'll start getting us some business. Sweet. The door to door nice. salesman. You can you can yeah. take that for me. I am just realizing now that we forgot to add the third story onto our original wagon traveling merchant site to be able to sell our plant hats. So we'll get to that one here in a little bit. But my friends, we are over here at Jack's Beanstalk. And I believe there are two more diamonds inside of this thing. At least there were last time I checked. We can take those out and it's time to grow this one. But before we get to that time lapse, folks, if you all are enjoying today's episode, please be sure to click that like button down below. And my friends, I am extremely close to 300,000 subscribers. We're getting so close to my face, that's how close it is. If you have not subscribed already and want to help me out here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But folks, let's kick this up in a good old fashioned time lapse mode. And there it is in all of its glory. The new and improved beanstalk. I decided that we just had to tear the entire thing down and start fresh. I didn't think there was a good way to grow that out of what we had already going on. But I think this is a much better start for ourselves. It's, it's a lot thicker. It's a lot chunkier down at the base. Whereas before it felt like it'd just be a little weak to support the fantasy castle that'll sit in the clouds eventually. I don't really know. But I did add in these little bits of clouds over here. And it looks like it already has started to snow which is unfortunate, but I think this thing turned out really awesome. It turned out super well. I think the lights and the little flowers here that have some little lights hidden inside of them, they're interesting. I tried making this one look more like a bulb that hadn't quite grown yet, and then these are the full-grown flowers. So as we get up the tree, or as we get up the beanstalk, sorry, everything gets a little bit smaller and more simple, and like it's still kind of little buds growing off of the beanstalk. And that is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and set our sign up down here again to say insert two more diamonds to grow. And hopefully we'll get those here soon. I believe he actually recently went on vacation for the... <laughs> We're going to leave that. I believe he went on vacation recently for a little while. So it might be a little while before we get back over here to build this one. But I did leave a tiny little spot right up here that I want to throw something in. Because I realized last time he came up here searching for something. So now this time... We got to put something in here and I've got nine of these hell shelves that I'm just not using at all. They've just been kind of sitting in the place over there and yeah, we're just going to leave them there and we'll put this here. And now time to deal with a few more plants for the day is as you might have seen in my inventory, I have all of these succulents here and I believe it's time for us to go get some more plant hats and we're going to make the plant hat and succulent shop extension to our wagon. I think it's going to be great. Now, before we jump in the nether and put our plant hat on, the problem is, is to make the plant hat work, it needs to go in this slot right here. So we lose our nether star helmet, but that makes it so plants can't grab us. I wanted to check to see if we could actually enchant this plant hat down here, and it looks like we can. Perfect. Fire protection. It has fire protection. It's got live mending, though, so we're not going to equip this until we can get rid of that curse. Which, thankfully, I already have one of these books ready to go sit in here. So we can actually just throw that directly on our plant hat. And it looks like this thing might have an enchanting glow to it. 
which does show up out here. And I've learned recently that we have these ruins that we can use that are just different colors. And I think if we take the lime ruin and we can put that on our plant hat here, and it doesn't work. Bummer. It's supposed to change the enchanting glint color, but it looks like we still got some blue going on there. But let's jump into the nether with our new and improved plant hat and get ourselves some vines. I am missing out on quite a bit of armor in here with taking the helmet off. I'm missing on like seven armor, I believe. So we've got to be really careful here on picking some battles because things out here can still definitely hurt us. And I want to be super careful as we're moving around. So that like that. Okay, well, we could still... All right, they still can't hurt us. That's good to know. <laughs> There is our first plant right up there, and it looks like that might fall directly down into some fire. We don't want to um, get ourselves stuck into the ceiling here. And let's see if we can't get this guy to drop his first. Yep, there it goes. Sweet. One down. We need two of these for each of the hats, and it shouldn't be too long. And there's our second one already. Oh, it looks like Joel actually just logged off. His camera count's still on, but we might be able to get some good spawns out here. And I want to test this hat and make sure it actually works for us. Yep, we are pretty close to underneath this guy, and he cannot see us because of our plant, but this wolf, he can't. I gotta say, now that I'm trying to do this while I'm the only person on the server, it is a million times easier. These things spawn all over the place. I see why people got stuck on the roof so often with them. But then occasionally you find ones like that guy, where if he grabbed you, you're just dead. There's no way. There's no way to save you. Oh, I guess he's technically over land. Oh, sweet, we can get that off of him. I, I thought he was over the giant lava lake. And having an elytra was a very good call, by the way. Just being able to use an elytra to get up and down these cliffs in the nether and then using the carpet outside of that. Oh, it's so nice. I don't have to worry about fall damage. Why are gas still the scariest thing in the nether? Outside of everything, it's just it's the sound they make. The sound and the explosions just makes them the absolutely the scariest thing. And I've realized I've taken a few hits so far. The plant hat only has 30 durability, so I'm really glad I put unbreaking 14 on this one. Otherwise, I think it's already would be dead. And that makes enough material here to make five of them. I don't know where that fire came from. A blaze shooting at me? I don't really know. But we've got enough to make five, and I think that's going to be good for now. I think we'll start off with selling five of them and see how often they actually sell. Back home, safe and sound now. We should have everything that we need to craft up. We need five of these leather hats, and then we can make our... Oh, we can do them one at a time. All right, then and five plant hats those are going to be great to be able to sell but it's time we jump over to the shopping district and see if we can't build up on our base a little bit further back over in the shopping district now i have fixed up that painting and you'll see that i actually took down the hanging lights because the idea that i want to move forwards with we got to come over to this side uh, what is this an atm cool we got our energy chest here but in this structure right here, we took it out going to the left last time, and I feel like we gotta bring it out to the right to help balance it out a little bit further. And I think it would work better with the interior room structure of all of it as well. So we're gonna bring it out this way a little bit further, and so all the fairy lights were kinda hitched on that post right there, which is where the new structure is gonna go. So I had to move that one, but it's time for me to get a little bit of building done and see where we can't expand our shop. I step back for one quick second here. And well, we get a creeper explosion right at the Two Heart Clubhouse. Ah, if I leave this, I'm never going to hear the end of it from Scott. So I'm going to have to come over here and fix this up in a second. I think these are just oak leaves, though, and uh, I need to go get some more of the smooth stone stuff. And then that'll be good to go. But what is also good to go, and for the better, is that I have this secondary room, or third, third room. Now, we have three layers in this place. It's finished up. I got our little fairy lights back over here. And I think I raised them up another block, and I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging that slope to it right here. It very much feels like everything's set off of this guy. And coming inside here, I've got a little bit of a weird way to get up. So you got to kind of go over here, and then you have to close that trap door and move yourselves up to this point, which I kind of like the dynamic point of it. Makes this very much feel like ramshackles and kind of just like thrown together type stuff. So I think that's perfect. Then we got small succulents are t one diamond for 10 of them, spiky, short, talls, whatever you want. And for the large succulent, it's one diamond for five. Technically, that's a better deal to get the box, which is that guy right there showing off all of them. Then plant hats, I'm posting them at six diamonds for now, which should be pretty good. And then uh, we've kind of lost our little balcony area up here, but I also love that part of it. I think that's a great way to work out this design. As we just kind of grow it and keep adding on random things to it. I like this secondary cart. I originally wanted to see if I could build this into that guy. But I feel like second cart 
And then if we want to start expanding that cart going up as well, I think eventually we're just going to have a really cool little commune over here of all of my different shops. But for now, it's time that I go fix up all of this area. And I apparently lost some corn flowers here too. And we are repaired over here. Hopefully, I think I got everything right. That looks about what I could remember it being. But we're good to go on the shop now. Everything in here is set up. I think this is pretty good for me on the shopping front as far as things go on X-Life for now. I don't think I'm going to be setting up or expanding any of the shops soon. I did want to check, though, if we have those orange dye blocks. Do they have vertical slabs? They do not. All right. Well, I was going to say we could smooth that out a little bit more with some vertical slabs in there, but I guess not. And I also did notice that there's a shop over here. Well, of course I noticed it because, well, I built that logo for Jimmy and I wanted to make sure that he, you know, made some diamonds off of it because let's be honest here. L L L Jimmy over here, he's trying everybody. He's trying to be able to uh, create a unique shop for himself. Does he have any, uh, nobody's bought any AirPods and he hasn't even stocked his golden apples yet. So I'll help him out here. I'll be his first sale just so old Jimmy here can at least make some diamonds from his shop here because I know he tried really hard making this one. And there we go. There's four diamonds for a set of AirPods. And I want to mess with them even more because we can make it even better because you can tie these ones black and it would be great just to be like, yep, no, there's one more unique thing you could have done, Jimmy. There we go, everybody. They're even like yellow. I don't know how the yellow got in there. I just added some black dye, but there we go. We are rocking these things here. And, you know, now I got to go show them off to Jimmy be like, there's something else you can include in your shop. So everybody, I think, however, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. I do hope you all did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please be sure to click that like button down below. My friends it would mean a heck of a lot to me. And we are, as I mentioned earlier, closing in on 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. So everybody who has subscribed, thank you so very much. And if you're considering it, please do that today to help me hit that milestone. Cool stuff there. Yeah, all that awesome stuff. But anyways, everybody, I'm out of here for now. So I will catch you on the flip side.